YouTube link as well. Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. This is Nafiza from Hassle Free Education. So today is the first class of our online free IELTS course. So thanks for joining. So today our instructor will be Mr. Amri Ishan Arafin sir. So he is not only an IELTS expert, but also he is a student of uh, Teesside University and is currently living in the UK. So without any further ado, let's welcome our teacher, Mr. Amri Ishan Arafin sir. Sir, can you hear us? Yeah, loud and clear. Thank you, sir. So please continue the class. Uh, thank you, Nafi, sir. Uh, uh, thank you, everybody uh, who have joined till now. So uh, let's start the class today. So today is supposed to be the first class of the IELTS journey provided by Hassel Free Education. So uh, today uh, we are going to discuss thoroughly about how we see the IELTS examination as a participant. So how to develop ourselves uh, regarding the skills needed for IELTS. So uh, today we will be uh, observing the four uh, main skill set that is needed uh, for the IELTS exam. We all know that IELTS tests for our skill of speaking, skill of listening, uh, skill of writing um, and as well as uh, the skill uh, reading writing speaking and writing uh, so uh, here we will be discussing our uh, do's and don'ts tips and tricks uh, and I want to uh, I want you guys to focus uh, on some of the key aspects of the IELTS exam so uh, in these uh, key aspects, uh, you will be uh, having the knowledge of the IELTS uh, exam pattern and what the uh, exam uh, examiners look into your answers so that they can give you a good band score. So we'll look into these aspects. So first of all, I want to know uh, if you want to, uh, if you can listen to me properly. Am I audible or not? You can type in the chat box that you can listen to me properly. So um, from there, we'll start uh, after having your feedback in the YouTube comment box. I'm waiting for your feedback. Uh, then we'll look into some of the real, real questions of IELTS exam so that, um, oh, thank you. Uh, uh, all right, I have um, got your answers that you can uh, hear me properly. Uh, one person named Sohir Fayed, uh, if I'm not wrong, uh, he said Eid Mubarak. Eid Mubarak to all of you and uh, I guess uh, those of you who have joined this time with me to this class you are very serious about IELTS because uh, the Eid time is going on still uh, back in home back in Bangladesh or um, in, in other countries as well but you have joined here for specifically developing your skill regarding IELTS so you're very serious so you want to do well in IELTS, that's, that's uh, a great thing. You have to have the passion, you have to have the want uh, to do well in IELTS. Otherwise, if you don't uh, involve yourself in practicing IELTS, in learning the aspects of IELTS, you can't develop yourself. So I want uh, to congratulate you guys for participating here. 
uh, for developing your skills regarding the IELTS. And I am uh, here not as a teacher, but as a guide um, who can share his own experience. Uh, and this experience can help you to get a good band score in IELTS. So uh, let me share you um, a question set of IELTS regarding the reading test. Sorry, I'm taking some time to open up the files. If you can see the PDF file, uh, you can write in the chat box that you can see the PDF file. Uh, my IELTS band score is eight. Uh, console gaming, uh, as you have asked me, uh, my IELTS band score is eight, and uh, it was uh, eight in listening, uh, eight in reading, seven point five in speaking, and seven point five in writing. So that was my score. Thank you for asking. Uh, I want to see some reply, if you can see uh, the PDF or not. Is it clear now? Not clear? Uh, Uh, okay. Is it clear now? Just uh, I'm waiting for your feedback. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, so this is a model reading test passage. So uh, in this passage, we can see a, a common topic. So uh, first of all, if we consider the reading task of IELTS, uh, in this reading task, uh, we should expect passages. So we already know that we will be getting three passages. So we should expect uh, passages from a generic perspective. So the passage will be a non specialized pack, uh, passage so uh, so that everybody can read that passage so it can be about anything it can be about computer science it can be about biology it can be about nature it can be about education no matter the topic uh, no no matter what the topic is the top the passage itself will be generic so that everybody will be able to understand the meaning of the passes yes it, it it will be easier for you if the passes comes from a background that you are familiar with suppose you are a computer engineer and uh, uh, the passes related to computer science comes in your IELTS exam then it will be a bit easier for you to get through the passes that's that's all right but uh, the passes topics will be uh, it can be anything, but the passage itself will be generic so that you can understand uh, the topic of the passage. 
So there will be three passages uh, in the IELTS reading test. And uh, can you write uh, how much time you will get uh, for the IELTS reading test? Do you know how much time you will get for answering the passages? So how much time will be specified for you for the IELTS reading test? Do you know how much time will you get? I'm, I'm not. Mm. You, those who are having trouble to see the passage clearly, it might be the case with your uh, internet connection. So those who are having problems, uh, check your internet connection again, please. So that 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 can be one issue actually. Um, all right, I'm, I'm getting feedbacks. Yes, uh, you'll get one hour for answering three passages. So as we can understand, we will get 20 minutes to go through each passage. So as a student, as an examinee, we'll be, uh, we will not be wanting to spend 25 minutes or 30 minutes in one passage and then uh, having lack of time to answer the other passages. So we have to be very careful about that. And now, as you can see, a passage here, the passages will be, uh, we will be having uh, some like 250 words or something like that. So the passages will be big to read. So you have to have the skill to, to skim through the passage. So uh, what is skimming? Do you know that? Uh, what is skimming? Because uh, you have to go through the passages as quickly as possible. So you have to first skim through the whole passage in order to understand what the passage is about. So you have to skim through the whole passage at first. So when you'll be getting the passages, you'll start with the passage one, you are going to skim through the whole passage in uh, a few minutes, like one or two minutes, then start answering the questions from the passage. So uh, do you know what is the meaning of skimming? Uh, you can write in the chat box if you want. Um, I'm, I'm waiting for your answers. I guess uh, not many of you know the correct meaning of skimming. So skimming is having to go through the passages we, without going to the details. So just flying through the passage actually. So you can skim through uh, with uh, a blink of the eye. So yeah, that can be one option. Uh, searching the keywords. Uh, searching the keywords might be um, an option. So uh, while you are skimming, it's like, traveling through the words uh, very quickly. Uh, so you should be able to travel through the words very fast. So that's one of the skill set that you want to develop. So as a student, what you should do, um, some of you might tell me that uh, you need longer amount of time to skim through the passes. That, my friend, because of your uh, poor reading skill. If you can develop uh, better reading skills, you will need less amount of time to skim through the passages. So here, there is no shortcut. You have to read, read, and read. So from now on, from today, as you're going to attend the IELTS exam, 
you have to read every article every post that you get in english so that you can improve your reading skill and your skimming time so uh, as much as you read your skimming time will become less so that your reading skill shed uh, should develop and you should read uh, a good amount of articles a good amount of papers in order to increase your skimming skills so then after the skimming you will have a little idea about the passage itself then you should uh, look at the question so when you will be looking at the question for example here this is a passage regarding the beetles uh, so here you can see that these are the examples of the questions that can come in the IELTS exam. So, for example, question number six to eight, label the tunnels on the diagram below using words from the box. Write your answers in boxes six and eight on your answer sheet. So you have to name these things. Like we can see the cowron, uh, and we can understand that this is the surface and the three elements are below the surface. So we have to name the uh, three elements which are below the surface from, from this type, from dung beetle types. So we have to select and we have to fill out the gaps. So as you can see, this is the passes we have to go through the passes in order to understand what will be the answers here. So when you see the question, you will get an idea about the question. Now you can look for the dung beetle types in the passage itself. So that my friend uh, are your keywords dung beetle types are your keywords so you'll be looking for the dung beetle types in the passage itself so when you get to the question when you get to the bottom of the question you will have an idea what to look for and as you have already skimmed through the passes you will have an idea in which paragraph you will get the answer so normally uh, if you're lucky the portion the first portion portion of the question will come from the uh, first uh, portion of the passes so will come from the first paragraphs of the passes normally it might not be the case so there is no guarantee but you should look from the uh, the beginning of the passes for your answers as you have already skimmed through you know how many paragraphs are there you know uh, about the paragraphs as well so one thing now you have to do is to know the topic sentences of each paragraph is to know the topic sentences of each paragraph a topic sentence gives you the idea about the paragraph itself so what the paragraph is about mainly discussed in the topic sentence of the paragraph so do you know what is uh, what is called the topic sentence of the paragraph? Uh, please, uh, can you answer topic sentence? So we have been through some terms. One term is skimming. Now we have got another term, which is topic sentence. So I'm looking for your answer. Uh, if you can write the definition of topic sentence of a paragraph. What is the topic sentence? And where we can find the topic sentence? Okay, uh, I guess many of you do not know. Uh, about the topic sentence the topic sentence is the first sentence uh, of the paragraph 
So, did you know this earlier? So, I want to get your feedback. Did you know the definition of topic sentence earlier? Yeah, the topic sentence is the uh, idea of the paragraph itself. You write in a way, but the topic sentence is the first sentence of the paragraph where the idea of the paragraph is described. So that is the topic sentence. No, uh, console gaming. You, you're wrong, uh, unfortunately. The topic sentence is the sentence uh, where the idea of the paragraph is represented and it will be the first sentence of the paragraph. So to get the idea of the paragraph, you have to read the first sentence, which is the most important sentence of the paragraph. And as our time is short, we have to look for the idea of the paragraph as soon as possible because we have to know whether our question's answer is in that particular paragraph. To understand that first, we have to go through the topic sentences of the paragraph. Uh, for, the, for the Bangladeshi people out there, I mean Banglai Bolsi, we paragraph gulu খুব সহজে এবং খুব তাড়াতাড়ি এটা বুঝে নেওয়ার চেষ্টা করতে হবে যে কোন প্যারাগ্রাফটায় আমার যে প্রশ্নটা আমি দেখেছি সেই প্রশ্নটার অ্যানসার লুকিয়ে আছে তার মানে আমার খুব তাড়াতাড়ি প্যারাগ্রাফটা চিহ্নিত করতে হবে এই চিহ্নিত করার জন্য টপিক সেন্টেন্স স্ট্র্যাটেজিটা খুব ভালো একটা স্ট্র্যাটেজি বেশিরভাগ সময় প্যারাগ্রাফের যে প্রথম সেন্টেন্সটা থাকে সেই সেন্টেন্সটা পড়লে বোঝা যায় যে প্যারাগ্রাফটা কি নিয়ে এটাই হচ্ছে টপিক সেন্টেন্সের বৈশিষ্ট্য এবং আইএলস রিডিং এ যেসব প্যাসেজ আসে আমরা এক্সপেক্ট করি সেই সব প্যাসেজে প্যারাগ্রাফ গুলো শুরু হবে টপিক সেন্টেন্স দিয়ে এবং সেই প্যারাগ্রাফ গুলোতে টপিক সেন্টেন্সটা পড়লে মোটামুটি একটা ধারণা পাওয়া যাবে যে এই প্যারাগ্রাফটা কি এই প্যারাগ্রাফটাতে কি নিয়ে আলোচনা করা হয়েছে সো দ্যাট ইজ দ্য টপিক সেন্টেন্স ওয়্যার উইল গেট টু আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড দ্য টপিক অফ দ্য প্যারাগ্রাফ we expect to understand that all right so here uh, let's read the topic sentence of the first paragraph introducing dung beetles into a pasture is a simple process approximately 1500 beetles are released a handful of, at a time into fresh cow pads in the cow pasture so this this paragraph is about uh, introducing uh, the beetles into cow dung. So you will get the idea of how to introduce the beetles uh, in the cow dung. So uh, in the second sentence, the topic sentence is dung beetles work from the inside of, of the pad so that uh, so they are sheltered from predators such as birds and foxes. So this is more about the livelihood of the dung beetles uh, so how they live how they work so the, this uh, sentence uh, gives us that idea so this is how we can get to know the we can get to know a rough idea about the passage itself and second most important thing is to read the last sentence of the paragraph most of the time the paragraph last sentence contains the summary of the paragraph so it is very important to read the topic sentence and the last sentence of the paragraph in order to understand the topic of the paragraph so when we are looking forward for the answer we should look uh, first for the topic sentence and the ending sentence of the paragraph in order to understand the paragraph and now if we feel that this paragraph is important for our answer now we can go through the each line of the paragraph so from our question what do you think which uh, paragraph is important 
like uh, for this question what do you think which paragraph is important for finding out that we have to first skim through we have to first scream through the text scream through every paragraph and then we will expect that uh, from our topic sentence we can know which paragraph it is to look for so in my opinion the paragraph number two seems very interesting which is the livelihood about the beetles and we might find our answer in the paragraph two so that's the strategy that's the strategy we'll uh, undertake to answer the reading questions so now as this class is just a brief uh, idea about your strategy so that is the thing with reading uh, you will get to know this uh, when you get the thorough classes of reading i guess but uh, the main strategy is to skim through the passages uh, get to the questions now get to the paragraph itself and uh, go through the topic sentence and the ending sentence of the paragraph to understand the topic of the paragraph and then uh, if you think that the paragraph is related to the question now it is time to go through each sentences of the paragraph so this is the strategy but some might say that you do not understand when you read or there there are some words that you don't know the meaning so this can happen also with me also with other people because we are not native speakers that's why when we uh, see some of the uh, words which we are not familiar with please do not worry uh, do not get panicked because it can happen one or two words uh, will not harm you uh, because from the whole sentence you'll get the idea of the meaning of the word i'm sure so you should not panic if you don't know the meaning of uh, a few words but yes uh, overall your reading uh, skill has to improve in order to do these things fast tar mane apnar je reading skill ache seta jodi improve na kore seta jodi bhalo na hoy tahole apnader somoshya hobe ei puro passage ta skim kore tarpor proshno dekhe sei proshnor onujayi apni jokhon paragraph gulo topic sentence porben paragraph gulo ending sentence porben এরপরে প্যারাগ্রাফটার মিনিং বোঝার চেষ্টা করবেন কি হবে প্রত্যেকটা সেন্টেন্স পড়ে পড়ে যে আমার এই প্যারাগ্রাফটাতে বোধ হয় এই কোয়েশ্চেনটার অ্যান্সার আছে আমি প্রত্যেকটা সেন্টেন্স পড়ে পড়ে আমি অ্যান্সারটা দিব তখন কি হবে আপনার প্রত্যেকটা সেন্টেন্স পড়তেও বেশি সময় লাগবে অনেক সময় আপনি পড়েও পুরো সেন্টেন্সটা একবার পুরো মানে বুঝবেন না যে সেন্টেন্সটা কি বলতে যাচ্ছে সেটা আপনি বুঝবেন না কারণ আপনার রিডিং আগে থেকে প্র্যাকটিস করা নাই তো যারা রিডিং আগে থেকে প্র্যাকটিস করেন এবং যারা ইভেন অনেক বাংলা বই পড়েছেন আগে লিটারেচার পড়েছেন তাদের জন্য এইখানে একেবারেই বাংলা বই পড়ারও ঠিক মতো এক্সপিরিয়েন্স নেই তাদের এখনই সময় যে আপনারা বই পড়া শুরু করেন তবে এখন অফকোর্স ইউ শুড রিড দ্য ইংলিশ বুকস ইংলিশ আর্টিকেলস ইংলিশ পোস্ট সো that is the case uh ekhon onek ki jigesh korte paren what are the question types of the reading passages will not will be not going through that so this uh, class meant to uh, familiarize with you uh, the the strategy or just to get just to give you an idea how you should think while answering uh, your ielts reading test so this uh, will be the scenario when you will get to see the ielts reading passage so that's all about uh, today's uh, ielts reading so we'll go to the next topic but yes there there are variety of question types in ielts reading such as fill in the gaps uh, matching the topic of the paragraph so they which is one very common question that they will give you some uh, keywords to match with the topic of the paragraph so they will give you the question where you you'll get to 
uh, understand the topic of the paragraph and match with the keyword. So uh, the, 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 the matching question is a very common question where you will get to understand the topic of the paragraph and match with the keywords given in the question. So these are the types of uh, questions that can come in the IELTS reading test. So, all right. Uh, have you understood uh, the scenario which you will be facing in the IELTS reading test? Have you understood? And have you understood the skill set you need to develop from now on uh, for the IELTS exam? So if you have, please write in the comment for the for the reading test uh, which uh, what do you think which aspect of your reading skill set you you need to develop a bit, bit more so what do you think about your own reading skill set which aspect of your reading skill set you want to develop for IELTS uh, you may write Um, I'm looking for the answers. Uh, uh, FIFA Islam font size is not readable. That's not the case. Uh, unfortunately, you have a bad internet connection. So you should work with your internet connection. So I want the answer. What do you think? Which aspect of your reading skill set you want to develop for the IELTS exam? Like, do you think that you need to read a bit faster, or do you think that you need to uh, enlarge your vocabulary list, or do you think that you need to uh, just in generally, you need to read a lot more articles, a lot more English passages in order to do well in the IELTS reading test. Um, Tasnim Begum, reading, understanding, and vocabulary research. All right, uh, Tasnim, uh, you know where to start. So uh, that is it uh, with the reading. Now, um, let's go through the listening module. Uh, give me some time. For, for the listening, you'll get uh, 40 questions as well, um, like the reading task where you'll get 40 questions. But in the listening, you'll get 40 questions within a few minutes. So do you know the timing of the listening test? How much time you'll get uh, for answering the listening task of IELTS? So there will be 40 questions. How much time you'll get? I'm, I'm waiting for your answers. Uh, I guess many of you know about the timing so of the IELTS test. So how much time you'll get for answering uh, the 40 question of listening test? Uh, I'm looking forward for your answer. Try to try to participate. All right, uh, I'm getting answers. 40 minutes in total, but you will get actually 30 minutes. Um, Tasnim Begum. You'll get 30 minutes 
for answering the listening test questions and 10 minutes for transferring the answer to your answer sheet so that thing you you need to understand so 40 minutes is in total but technically you'll be getting 30 minutes for answering 40 questions and 10 minutes extra for transferring your answer from the question paper to answer paper so uh, in the ielts exam you'll get your question paper and your answer paper as well so when you are going through your listening test you will use the question paper to write the probable answers or to select the answers uh, of the questions given in the listening tests then after your listening audio ends after 30 minutes you'll be given 10 minutes for transferring your answer to the answer sheet so technically you're getting 30 minutes to answer all of the questions and 10 minutes is a lot uh, is a lot of time to to transfer your answer to the answer sheet so the answer sheet is different from the question sheet you, you'll need uh, 10 minutes for transferring your answer so that is the idea of IELTS listening test so you're getting 30 minutes um, yeah some of you know no uh you, you cannot shishir you cannot you cannot use that 10 minutes for for the reading test because the question set is different so you'll get a different question set the question paper is different for for the reading test after ending your 40 minutes you'll get your new question paper for the reading test so uh in the listening test uh, it, uh, in my opinion this is the easiest module of all reading might be uh, some may say that reading is the toughest but no reading is not the toughest in my opinion uh, it, it, it can vary from person to person because the reading skill set can be developed and i can guarantee you that if you practice IELTS reading from the IELTS passages, the reading skill set can be developed. It can develop a lot. So you can see the change yourself when you start practicing the IELTS reading model questions from the Cambridge book. Maybe for the first few times, you'll get very less mark in reading. But as you practice, as you go through more and more reading tests, as you participate in more and more mock tests of reading your reading skill set will be developing that's a guaranteed thing that's a guaranteed thing and which can be uh, which can be achieved uh, within a short amount of time so you can improve your reading skill set within a short amount of time but uh, actually which is tough to develop in a short amount of time is the speaking and writing skill set so it will be tough for you to uh, you know increase your writing and speaking skill set uh, within a short amount of time because these skill set uh, are achieved in a lifetime so uh, you cannot just uh, change your skill set of speaking overnight you cannot do that because the speaking skill set or writing skill set it uh, we are achieving the skill set from our childhood so we cannot change it overnight but for the reading part specifically if you practice more and more reading passages your reading skill set will be developed so that's the benefit of the reading thing so that's why i don't think that this will be the reading will be the toughest part but yes listening uh, can be the easiest part of the ielts uh, modules because uh, we are all familiar with listening so many of us are uh, listeners of english news many of us are, are the fans of english movies hollywood movies so from the childhood we are listening to english so there is no denying of that from the childhood we are listening to english 
and for those who have watched english movies earlier you, you have already got a good listening uh, a good listening skill set so uh, listening mcq question types confused uh, there will be mcq questions in listening uh, miss runa there will be mcq question you have to select the the right answers right option from the mcq but there can be also short questions uh, there can be also fill in the gaps so there are many types of questions uh, in the listening test even uh, you can feel the question can be regarding a map and you have to fill the location uh, and you have to fill the blank in the map uh, by writing the location names so there are uh, many options for the questions uh, for the listening test so not only the mcq there will be many type of question in listening test uh, um, i'll be not going through the questions all of the question types now my main focus is to uh, familiarize you with the uh, pattern with the vibe of the IELTS. So I have already discussed about the reading test. Now it's time to discuss about the listening test. So as I'm discussing, uh, I am expecting that you have at least something uh, for the listening. I guess you can understand my English, right? You can understand my English because you're following the class. Uh, I guess you can understand my English. That means you can understand English because I'm talking in English and you can follow follow you can follow me. That means that you you are able to you are able to understand English. But the fact is, in the listening test, uh, you can uh, listen to some conversation between people. So there will be many speakers in that conversation and it might be tough for you to understand uh, everything like because many people or a few people are talking in the background uh, so it might be tough for you to find out for the answers but uh, what is important uh, for the listening test is the concentration you have to concentrate to listen to the audio because uh, when you're listening when you are listening to the audio if your concentration breaks you cannot answer the question so what is the strategy for the listening test just first before uh, they start the audio you have to take a look at the questions for example here we can see that there are eight questions and we can see that we have to feel about uh, a name we have to feel about address and we have to feel something about the height and width of that box we have to feel something about the contents of the box so when you go through the eight questions, you get an idea what to expect while you listen, what to expect while you listen. Now, while you are listening, you have to look forward for those answers in the audio. You have to look forward for those answers in the audio. So that's the strategy. And, and in the listening test, it will get harder uh, as the time passes by. The first listening uh, audio will be easier because it will be just uh, a one-to-one -one conversation then it will be getting tougher from there so the 40 uh, for the 40 questions the first 10 questions i guess will be the easiest then uh, because there will be different kind of speeches like conversation between friends uh, lecture because the the last one will be a monologue so the last audio will be a monologue where the teacher is giving uh, a lecture about some topic so you uh, you are expected to answer that as well so as the listening audio goes by the time passes the audio will be harder so the first part the first portion of listening is easy and the last one is the toughest so you have to know all of these and all right uh, Mm, Wakas, uh, I will recommend if you if you want to watch English movies to uh, to for for the betterment of your uh, listening skill, do not watch movies with subtitles. From now on, 
do not watch movies with subtitles you should start watching movies without subtitles then uh, your listening skills will be uh, developed truly all right uh, i'll be trying to uh, play audio Just give me a minute. Uh. Conversation between in a customer and an agent at a company which ships large boxes overseas. Just let me know that uh, if you have heard anything uh, re regarding the listening audio. So I have played uh, the listening audio uh, for a few seconds. Have you listened to that? Were you able to listen? Just I'm waiting for the feedback as I have played the audio. Have you listened to the audio or were you able to listen to the audio? Uh, all right. All right, I guess you have. Thank you. I'll be playing the audio in full then. Hello. You will hear a telephone conversation between a customer and an agent at a company which ships large boxes overseas. Good morning, Packham's shipping agents. Can I help you? Oh, yes. I'm ringing to make inquiries about sending a large box, uh, a container, back home to Kenya from the UK. Yes, of course. Would you like me to try and find some quotations for you? Yes, that'd be great. Thank you. Well, first of all, I need a few details from you. So, uh, as you were listening to the audio task um, I guess you can understand that this is the first part of the listening test where you will get to uh, listen to one to one conversation and this is the easiest part and you will be easily answering you can easily answer the questions uh, that you'll get from this this part so I, I I will ask you to take a screenshot of the uh, question so that while you listen you can uh, just guess the answers of the questions so right now i'm send i'm sharing you the question again
so this is the this is the question so this is the question just just take a screenshot of this question just take a screenshot right now and then i'll play the listening audio again take a screenshot of this question paper now i'm playing the audio again so that you will be able to answer or at least guess the answer Now I am playing the answer. Uh, I'm now sorry. Now I'm playing the audio. Would like me to try and find some quotations for you? Yes, that'd be great. Thank you. Well, first of all, I need a few details from you. Fine. Can I take your name? It's Jacob M. Kerry. Can you spell your surname, please? Yes, it's M. K. E. R. E. Is that M for mother? Yes. Thank you. And you say that you will be sending the box to Kenya? That's right. And where would you like the box picked up from? From college, if possible. Yes, of course. I'll take down the address now. It's Westall College. Is that W-E-S-T-A-L-L? -L? Yes, college. Westall College. And where's that? It's Downlands Road in Bristol. Oh, yes, I know it. And the postcode? It's BS89PU. Right. And I need to know the size. Yes, I've measured it carefully and it's 1.5 metres long. Right. 0.75 metres wide. OK. And it's 0.5 metres high or, or, or deep. Great. So I'll calculate the volume in a moment and get some quotes for that. But first, can you tell me, you know, very generally, what will be in the box? Yes, uh, th there's mostly clothes. OK. And there's some books. OK, good. Um, anything else? Uh, yes, th there's also some toys. OK, and what is the total value, do you think, of the contents? Well, the main costs are the clothes and the books. They'll be about £1,500. But then the toys are about another 200 So I'd put down £1,700. You will hear a telephone conversation between... Uh, all right, uh, I guess we're done with the audio. So can you confirm me? Have you listened to the audio and were you able to answer the some of the questions? Were you able to answer some of the questions um, all right all right uh, so it was very easy right uh, because this was the uh, first part of the listening test one-to-one -one conversation the, uh, it was very easy to answer the questions so so these the first part of the listening test this is the easiest and as you go through uh, where you'll have a group conversation where you have a lecture as a monologue the things will get tougher for sure but yes you need to practice uh, using this strategy that you'll play your audio and try to listen to the audio and answer uh, this yourself and it is easy for the audio for the for the listening test uh, to, to find your own answers right or wrong because uh, if you have the cambridge uh, ielts books there will be model tests of uh, and there will be a audio cd of that book and in the model test there is also answers 
answer are available. So you can find the answers uh, of your own uh, test. So uh, I recommend you to practice the listening and the reading from the IELTS, uh, Cambridge IELTS uh, model tests. So this is the main book or this is the main set of books that I recommend you to buy. Uh, maybe from uh, book number nine, you can buy, or maybe from book number 10, you, you can buy, buy. There are several uh, books. So I recommend you to buy those books for just practicing purpose. All right. Uh, uh, just, just for checking uh, or making the session interesting, can you write the postcode? Can you write the postcode uh, that was mentioned in the question? Can you write the postcode? Because uh, it, in the audio, uh, the male person, he has also mentioned about the postcode. And you uh, can you answer the postcode? Because in the listening test there was a question regarding the postcode yeah 9 to 16 will be all right that's name 9 to 16 will be all right um, 9 to 16 will be all right uh, i'll be taking your speaking sessions thoroughly as you already know from the orientation class I'll be taking your speaking sessions and I'll take around 10 classes for you speaking. And I have already talked about the do's and don'ts or the strategy of the speaking test in the orientation class. So I'll be not going through the speaking today. Uh, BS89PU, BS89PU. I have just got one answer from Samia. Anyone else? Anyone else have noted down the postcode from the audio? All right. Um, so the next part is the writing. In the writing, you will get to answer two passages. Uh, you will get to answer two parts, sorry. Uh, one is the report writing, one is the essay writing. So you will get one essay and one report to write. So in the essay, you are expected to spend 40, around 40 minutes and for the, for the report writing, you are expected to spend around 20 minutes. Uh, so you'll get one hour for the IELTS writing test. You'll get one hour. So uh, let me share you with a sample writing task. So this is a sample writing task. So this is the task one. That means this is the task related to the report writing. So you're expected to write at least 150 words for this. And uh, thank you, Samia, and thank you, uh, Nurnobi for correct answers, for the right answers. So this is the, this is one example of the writing test where uh, you have to write a report from the charts, from the diagrams. So they can give you bar charts, they, they can give you line graphs, they can give you maps. So they can give you some uh, visual diagrams, some visual articles in order to uh, answer. So you will need to spend 20 minutes for this. 
you yeah i guess you have to write around 150 words uh for the report writing and they, there is a specific strategy how to start your report so the first thing is to paraphrase the topic of the report so the topic of the report is already mentioned in the question as you can see in the question uh, it is mentioned that the chart below shows the number uh, of men and women in further education in britain in three periods and whether they were studying full-time or part-time so the the topic of the of this diagram uh, of this bar chart has already been discussed in the question itself so the starting point of your report uh, is to paraphrase the topic that is already mentioned in the question so you have to paraphrase uh, the topic and start the report so there will be three passages in in the report three paragraph sorry there will be three paragraph in the report the first paragraph is the topic of the paragraph uh, of, of the report and the second paragraph uh, will be discussing about the overall summary of the report that what this diagram uh, actually represent so the second paragraph will be discussing about the uh, summary of the report and the third in in the third paragraph you'll be discussing about the specific points uh, about this diagram so there there are some strategies to take for the writing test and you should not uh, write the same words again and again so you do not uh, you you should not repeat yourself while you are writing and you have to be grammatically accurate so there are many uh, specification and many things to look for in writing and uh, writing is one of the hardest task of IELTS all right so uh, as you can see that this paragraph uh, this uh, chart also has a topic you can paragraph paraphrase it to start your writing so what does it mean by paraphrasing do you know this uh, word paraphrasing we have already discussed some keywords earlier um, one is skimming so now right now we, we have got another word uh, called paraphrasing and we have also mentioned a word called topic sentence two words called a topic sentence so this is a new word for you I guess for some of you so paraphrasing is to write the sentence in a different way to write the same sentence or represent the same sentence by keeping the meaning of the sentence same but you have to change the whole structure of the sentence so that is paraphrasing so you have to start writing the report with paraphrasing so that is the case of report writing so did you know the meaning of paraphrasing earlier you can answer so let me bring up a sample essay so this is a sample essay as you can see uh, you have to write at least 250 words so uh, this is a agreement or disagreement essay so they they will be wanting your own uh, agreement or disagreement based on the topic so uh, there are many kinds of essay like comparison essay agreement or disagreement essay so there are many types of essay that can come in the IELTS so this is one of the most common types agreement or disagreement so they have given you a topic and they are looking for your agreement or disagreement on this topic and you have to uh, write this essay using at least four paragraphs so you have to uh, in, 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 even in the report part you have to write this in paragraphs so you have to understand how to start your paragraph as well um, in, in the earlier uh, or in the be beginning part of this lecture, I have told you that the passages in the reading task starts with topic sentences. 
and same goes for you when you write uh, some paragraphs when you write something when you make uh, an article or, or when you may uh, when you write uh, an essay you have to start your paragraph by writing the topic sentence uh, by writing the topic sentence and for 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 the essays you have to start writing the essay from the introduction we all know that right so but the last sentence of the introduction is called the thesis statement of the introduction or the thesis statement of the of the essay so in the last sentence of your introduction of the essay you have to describe the whole topic of the essay in the last sentence so that is called the thesis statement of the essay so you have to know all of these uh, in order to do well uh, in the IELTS writing task but the I guess the it might seem easy for you right now but the writing test getting a good band score in the writing test is the toughest one yeah uh, it, it's an opinion based essay that's name that's that's mean yeah so uh, I guess you you get the idea right now about uh, the three modules and i have already discussed about the uh, uh, speaking module in 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 the orientation class so uh, that was it for the for today's topic uh, and uh, for many of you i guess i'm very new um, you don't know me so i am md ishanarishin hosen uh, I'm a British Council grade scholar currently pursuing my master's in computer science uh, at Eastside University UK. So uh, for my master's, I have been granted uh, the scholarship called British Council grade scholarship. Uh, and I was working as a lecturer of computer science and engineering uh, in Southeast University back in, back in Bangladesh uh, before coming here in the UK for my higher studies. Um, right now I'm in my study leave so that's all about me and if you have any question right now you can you can write down in the chat box if uh, if you have question um, about anything uh, I'm expecting to look uh, forward for your questions so I'm expecting your questions I'm looking forward for your question please uh, if you have any question you can write right now about the class and then we'll end the session. Um, I'm waiting for your questions. If you have any questions, you can write down. Otherwise, uh, we'll end the class. Do you have any question regarding anything? Most of the I agree with you. We, we need to practice a lot. If you have any questions, you can write down or uh, if you're fine, then you can write down. You can write down all right or OK. Or you can write down I'm good. I'm expecting to see your replies and then I'll be ending the session. All right, um, no question, all right, no question. Um, for, for the Bangladeshi students there, I mean, I'm going to IELTS sector journey the journey to the shortcut night to up not get on a key shortcut about a bull bed eight eight a cool a shortcut a I'll say better at a score power to be to be a mark at some on a high I'll second shortcut night even eight up actually depend core after already after key skill set as a city of child's test for it overnight money cook Tara Tari I'll say shop it to change for a partner খুব ভালো করা খুব তাড়াতাড়ি এটা কিন্তু পসিবল না মানে আপনি খুব তাড়াতাড়ি নিজেকে একেবারে নতুন মানুষ বানায় ফেলবেন ইংলিশ 
ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ এর ক্ষেত্রে এটা পসিবল না কারণ ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ হচ্ছে একটা ভিন্ন জিনিস যেটা খুব কম সময় আয়ত্ত করা যায় না তবে আমরা যেটা করতে পারি সেটা হচ্ছে যে ক্লাসে আপনাদের বিভিন্ন টিপস দিই এবং ক্লাসে আপনাদের বিভিন্ন ট্রিক শিখাই যেটা আপনাদেরকে সাহায্য করবে বেটার স্কোর আনার জন্য তবে আপনার ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ এর স্কিল সেট কিন্তু আপনাকে নিজেকেই বাড়াতে হবে উদাহরণস্বরূপ আপনি যদি গ্রামার না পারেন তবে এখন গ্রামার শিখে উইদিন ওয়ান মান্থ এই কোর্স করে অসাধারণ স্কোর করা কিন্তু পসিবল তো আপনার হচ্ছে আগে থেকে একটা ব্যাকগ্রাউন্ড নলেজ থাকতে হবে সেই ব্যাকগ্রাউন্ড নলেজটা যদি থাকে তখন আমি যেই টিপস এবং ট্রিক্স গুলো আপনাদের শেখাবো সেই টিপস এবং ট্রিক্স আপনি এখন যে ব্যান্ড স্কোর পাবেন সেটা হয়তো এই টিপস এবং ট্রিক্স এর মাধ্যমে আপনার ব্যান্ড স্কোরটা আরো বেটার হবে এটা ঠিক আছে কিন্তু এটা আমরা এক্সপেক্ট করি যে আপনার একটা বেসিক স্কিল সেটটা থাকবে মানে ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ স্কিল সেট থাকবে বাদ বাকি আপনি আয়েলস সম্বন্ধে কিছু নাই জানতে পারেন তবে আয়েলস টা মেনলি যেহেতু আপনার স্কিল সেটটা যাচ করছে তো আপনার সেটা নিয়ে কাজ করতে হবে এটা হচ্ছে প্রথম কথা যে আপনি আপনার স্কিল সেটটা ডেভেলপ করবেন সেটা হতে পারে আপনার স্পিকিং স্কিল সেট সেটা হতে পারে আপনার রিডিং স্কিল সেট লিসনিং অর ইভেন রাইটিং আর স্পিকিং এর ক্ষেত্রে একটা কথা বলি যেটা এখনো বলা হয়নি সেটা হচ্ছে আপনি আপনার স্পিকিং টা ডেইলি এখন থেকে প্র্যাকটিস করা শুরু করেন সেটা হতে পারে আপনার ফ্রেন্ডের সাথে ডেইলি একজনকে বের করেন যার সাথে আপনি অন্তত আধা ঘন্টা ইংলিশে কথা বলবেন রিগার্ডিং ইউর ডেইলি লাইফ সেটা আপনার হতে পারে ফ্রেন্ড আপনার ফ্যামিলি হতে পারে কাউকে একজনকে বের করেন যার সাথে আপনি ইংলিশে প্রতিদিন আধা ঘন্টা কনভার্সেশন করবেন আর যদি আপনার কেউ না থাকে অন্তত আয়নার সামনে দাঁড়িয়ে আপনি কনভার্সেশনটা করবেন তো এটা হচ্ছে স্পিকিং নিয়ে আমার স্পেসিফিক গাইডেন্স আমি কিছু কোয়েশ্চেন পেয়েছি হাউ মেনি টাইম উই শুড প্র্যাকটিস ডেইলি হাউ মেনি টাইম আই গেস ইউ মেন্ট হাউ মেনি আওয়ার্স ইউ শুড প্র্যাকটিস ডেইলি ইট ভ্যারিজ ফর পার্সেন্ট পার্সেন্ট I'm giving you my example. Uh, so I have attended I, the IELTS exam uh, with a 15 days preparation time. So I have taken 15 days preparation. It, it, it was actually 14 days. Then in the 15th day, I set for the, I set for the exam. So uh, it took around 14 days for me and I used to practice two hours uh, for, for the 14 days. So it was actually 28 hours of practice for me before sitting for the IELTS exam. It depends explicitly on your skill set, how many hours you need to develop yourself. If you feel that you, you are weak, if you, af after having this session, if you feel that you need to practice a lot, you need to improve a lot, you'll, you have to spend a large amount of time practicing. So uh, each day, it can be two to three hours for, for, for two months or for three months even. So it depends specifically on you, but you have to practice. Uh, our learn with fun is possible then how? Learning is fun uh, for some of you, but learning is not for fun for some of you so it uh, again it depends on the perspective of the specific person so if you think that uh, for example you you can develop your listening skill by watching movies you can do it watching movies is fun so yeah uh, but uh, going through the model questions going through the model questions provided in the cambridge book uh, is not very fun uh, to be honest you'll feel boring uh, but you have to cover you have to cover all of the mock tests there so i um, in my ielts preparation i have did only that i have covered uh, from i guess from book 8 to the book 14 or 15 something like that so i have covered all of the model tests so that was my only preparation so it is very important to cover all of the model tests uh, provided in the cambridge ielts mock test books so uh, that is the only thing I can say to you. Uh, so, all right, uh, thank you very much. And I expect you to meet you guys in the speaking session where we'll have a thorough discussion about the speaking topics because there will be 10 classes for the speaking module and we'll be going through each step, each tip, each tricks 
uh, each trip, uh, trick for the uh, speaking test and I'll be telling you how to introduce yourself, how to represent yourself while you, you are in the speaking room. So uh, before going, I'll give you a homework. Uh, so as I'll be teaching your speaking module, I, I expect you to uh, to be able to describe things uh, with ease. So your homework will be making a video regarding today's class that how, what have you learned in today's class? So that the first question is, what have you learned? What have you learned in today's class? Second question is, how have you liked the class? So what, have you learned in today's class and how much you liked today's class? So you can make a video, a short video presentation regarding this. So what have we learned today's class? We have learned a lot of things regarding us reading, regarding us listening, uh, regarding writing and speaking. So we have learned a lot of initial things, introductory things, and we have gone through some of the topics we have gone, we have been through, we have gone through some of the questions as well, real IELTS questions. So uh, what have you learned in today's class and uh, how much you like today's class? So this, these two questions should be addressed in your video presentation uh, for the today's homework. So uh, thank you very much. And it's been my pleasure to uh, present myself in front of you and to be able to guide you throughout uh, your IELTS journey. We'll meet you soon, inshallah.